I didn't honestly did not know what to expect from this trip. Prior to this trip, I've never been outside of Canada. I was uh, nervous, excited, scared. I wasn't sure what to expect. When I arrived in Mexico, I found it uh, to be a very surreal feeling. The most important reason why I wanted to come to Monterey was because last year at the film festival we had some Mexican filmmakers come to Canada and I met them and spoke with them and just from their pers personalities and like meeting them I thought of it opened my eyes to the world of filmmakers and you know outside of Canada and the United States there's other people in other places that are really interesting. The filmmakers in Monterey seem like very go-getter kind of people. I know that uh, many of them start, start out working on short films and commercials for very little pay and that's almost their school. Uh, that's how they learn. Filmmakers have been, uh, they've been really great. It's been fun to talk to them about their experiences, about uh, how they learned their craft. Of the films that I've seen, I really enjoyed the uh, Turkish war film that we saw on our first night here. Um, I, what I enjoyed about it is that it was more of a fiction film than documentaries, which is more my style. And I probably, what I enjoyed of it was the performances, the acting, the dialogue, and the way that the actors were able to really hit home the uh, message of what they were saying. Yesterday, um, we went to see uh, an actual Mexican film called Respera, which is uh, uh, Spanish for breath, and it's about uh, Mexican um, or mountain climbing in Mexico. It was actually uh, pretty interesting. Uh, I was really curious as to how they got some of the shots. They had these mini profiles on some of the mountain climbers that are from Mexico. So it was very interesting. During my visit here in Monterey, I have never experienced such hospitality. Uh, anything that we needed, they were willing to comply with their requests as fast as they could. Uh, Things like we had transportation anywhere we wanted to go and people were just generally very friendly and very helpful. Oh, uh, we're actually treated very well. Everybody's really friendly. Uh, as soon as we got in, we had somebody meet us and uh, he was a really friendly guy, uh, Roberto, and uh, he was working with the festival. And then everybody who we met uh, at the, uh, the hotel that uh, inv are involved with the, the uh, festival, They've actually been uh, very nice, friendly, and uh, warm and welcoming toward us. The people at the film festival have treated us great since we've got here. They picked us up at the airport, they drove us to our hostel, they've translated for us, they've suggested places for us to go, but they really actually, it's not like they're doing it as their job, they actually genuinely care about where you're going to go, they want you to enjoy yourself. I felt I was treated uh, really well. Everyone was really, really friendly and if you needed help, they were there. You'd go up to them, ask them, and if they understood you, they would, <laughs> they would help out the be to the best of their ability. And it's really, the hospitality has been great all around. And although people were saying when I came here, you know, oh, don't go, it's scary, you're going to Mexico, you're crazy. Like, I'm, gl I'm really glad I did because if I spent my whole life living in a box and not trying anything new, I would never know what life was like and meant to be. It's very important for me to come to Monterey uh, to see a place that is in many ways so different from home, but in many other ways quite similar. Uh, to offer a, a, a new perspective on home, but also just to really explore uh, a new territory, something that would have originally been completely off the grid for me. I have now seen it, I've done it, and it's a great feeling. I think it was important to me because um, before I came here, my plan for, uh, for after school would be to either move to Vancouver or Toronto especially Vancouver since I've made connections this past summer with people in the industry. But now that I've seen some of the, spoke to some of the filmmakers here and how they are just going out and doing it, 
I really, really want to look into that option of just getting out there and making my own films, as opposed to just immediately jumping off into just grip work. I was actually sponsored to come here by the uh, First Nations Initiatives Fund. So I'd like to thank uh, Dave Clement and uh, Michelle de Roger for bringing me here, because it's quite the experience. This trip has had a large impact on me and it would not have been possible without the kindness of uh, the sponsors who made the whole, the whole ordeal possible. I would not be here if it was not for Air Canada. I'd like to thank the Monterey International Film Festival for having us here and I would like to thank Scotiabank Monterey for sponsoring our trip to Monterey, Mexico. Mm -hmm.